What's up everybody? Welcome back to the RK Method Fitness channel. We are doing a 10 minute stretch recovery day. So you don't need any equipment, just your body and a mat, maybe a towel if you have sensitive knees or a knee pad, but other than that, that is it. All right, for the workout today, we're going to be doing five exercises and you're gonna have 50 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest between each exercise. And we'll do that two times through. So any single leg exercises we're gonna do again on the other side. So starting with cat cows, you're gonna come down to the knees. From here, knees right underneath your hips. You're gonna round your spine, lift it up, tuck your chin to your chest, then lower the pelvis down, arching your back. Got a few back cracks in there. As you round, really try to lift your spine towards the ceiling, even your tailbone rounds. And then for your cow, you're gonna pull your shoulder blades back, really trying to emphasize the work through your core, your abdomen, engaging the rib cage and the core. Ten seconds left. Make sure you're breathing. Last three, two, one. For this next one, you're gonna stay in a tabletop. We're gonna go for a thoracic twist. So let's start with our left hand behind our head. Find this tabletop again. You're gonna bring your elbow down towards the floor and then lift. Really try to get that twist. And as you lift open, bring your elbow up towards the ceiling. This one's so hard for me. It's opening up that thoracic part of your spine, which is like the mid back. Now your range of motion is gonna depend on your mobility. So feel free to make it a little bit smaller. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Next one, we're gonna do a lunge, open reach into a leg kickback. So let's start in this left side lunge, both hands on the ground, right knees to the floor. You're gonna reach up and open, then pop up to your toes, kick your leg back. Make sure you're breathing. Really take your time in these. There's no need to rush in a stretch. This is gonna really help you before or after workout. It just feels so good on the body. Halfway. Let's do one more. Try to get your left foot up towards your left hand. Last two and one. Whew. Now we're gonna take it into a deep lateral lunge. So go nice and wide with your feet. You're gonna bend one knee, send your hips back. Find this deep lunge. Let's open to the side, same leg that's bent. Bring it back to the center and then reach up overhead. Feel a stretch in your side. Stick to one side. We'll come back to our left side later. Don't mind me if I am looking kind of pale in this video. I almost didn't record it because I didn't have my self tanner on. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Who cares? We're all a little pale right now. So there's no sun. Eight seconds left. And all right, now we're gonna go to hip 90-90s. So I'm gonna bring it down, just like it sounds, both knees at 90 degrees. Try to sit up nice and still. And then we're gonna add a side reach. So you're gonna rock it back. Try to bring both knees back to 90 degrees. And then you're gonna reach forward. It's kind of a side reach, but also to this front, to that leg in front of you. That's where you're gonna reach. 
trying to just keep your hips on the ground the whole time. You might have to lean back a little bit. That just means you gotta work on your mobility. Nothing wrong with that. If you cannot lean back at all, ooh, my hips are not that mobile. They are a little bit. I'll give myself some credit. We got 15 seconds, less than that. 10. Last three, two, and one. All right, so now we're gonna do that same thing one more time. So we're starting with our cat cows, and then we'll do the single leg stuff, or single leg, single side stuff on the other side. Here we go, cat cows. Lift each vertebrae up as high as you can, all the way to your tailbone and your neck. You really spread the shoulder blades, or pull the shoulder blades in. Push the tops of your feet into the floor. Even pulling your elbows in tight towards your sides. I'll apply it up your lats and my stomach. Throat just crawled. I wonder if you'll hear that through the mic. It's clearly I need to eat something again today. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we go for those thoracic twists. This time on our right side. So again, push into the tops of your feet. Right hand up. Bring your outside of your shoulder all the way to the ground. Stretch out your shoulder blade. Ooh. This one can be tough. like you're trying to lift your elbow towards the ceiling. Ten seconds, let's do one more. Three, two, and one. All right, now we're going into our lunge with a reach and then a kick back. So right side this time, right foot forward, bring your hands to the floor and open. Both hands come down, pop up to your toes, and swing that leg back. Drop to your heel, push your shoulder blades to the ground. Bring that right foot up to your right hand. Now you can open either direction. So if you wanna open away from your front leg or towards it, maybe you do both. I'm gonna do both because that feels good. Press into that heel. Really push your hips forward towards the ground in this lunge. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, now we're going for our deep lateral lunge. So I believe we did the left side. No, we did the right side. Whatever side you didn't do, <laughs> do that. I might be doing the same side, honestly. We'll find out later <laughs> when I rewatch this back. I'm still questioning it. Did I do my left leg? Did I do my right leg? Please bring those fingertips away from your body as far as you can. Then send your hips back like you're about to sit into a chair, feet flat on the ground. We got 10 seconds. And we finish out with our hip 90 90s. In three, two, and one. All right, last thing we're doing is our hip 90 90s. Camera keeps talking on me. I have to keep restarting it. There goes my look with my technology. Really trying to bring your fingertips further away from your body. Try not to lean back if you can. 
Your hips might be tight, so you have to lean a little bit further back. That's okay. You'll get better as you do these more and more. for the 10 minute stretch for your recovery day. Now you can do this before your workout or after. Just do some type of stretching, no matter what, before or after. The next one we're gonna be doing is a 10 minute core workout. So click to the next video so you can get a nice good core workout, it's only 10 minutes. And again, you won't need any equipment. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you on the next one.